Leslie Merritt was accused in a string of shootings in 2015 that largely took place on Valley freeways. When DPS investigators arrested him, Governor Ducey tweeted, we got him, but the case fell apart. There is no evidence whatsoever to suggest that Leslie Merritt is the I-10 shooter that he ever has been or that he ever will be. Meantime, Phoenix police were investigating another series of shootings and murders, and they arrested a man named Aaron Saucedo. Now, court documents filed today connect Saucedo to two of the shootings that Merritt was accused of. Those documents allege the key link occurred on Saturday, August 29, 2015. At 10.47 a.m., Saucedo purchased 50 rounds of 9mm ammunition at Mo Money Pond on Indian School and 10th Street. At 11.03 a.m. on I-10 and 19th Avenue, a Cadillac Escalade was shot and a bus was shot at 11.05 on I-10 at 43rd Avenue. Between 10 and 11.30 a.m., license plate readers spotted a vehicle matching six of seven of Saucedo's license plate numbers traveling westbound on I-10. An expert witness hired by Merritt's attorney writes, it's possible Saucedo could have arrived at the scenes of both shootings at the approximate time of their occurrence. And we reached out to DPS for comment. They sent us a statement that they wrote in 2017 when Aaron Saucedo was arrested. That statement says there's no connection between Saucedo and the freeway shootings. Today, they said nothing has changed since then. Morgan, let's go back to that map with the little black boxes, the information boxes there. You said the license plate reader identified six out of the seven digits of Saucedo's license plate near the freeway shootings. So does that mean it was the wrong plate. Well, those plate readers are not always perfect. So it definitely would have them look into whether that was his vehicle. Okay. Also, there's been no other other arrests in the case. So does this mean that DPS still thinks that Merritt is the shooter? I asked DPS that same question this morning. They did not answer it. And let's talk about Merritt's defense attorney, Jason Lamb. What does he say about all of this? Yeah, so I reached out to him, Jason Lamb, to find out, you know, what all this means. He said he cannot comment on this because it's an open case. He just said, take a look at the pleadings and they'll speak for themselves. All right. Very interesting developments. Morgan Lowe, thank you.